Good afternoon. Uh, it's a bright but very chilly um, Friday, the, uh, December the 25th. I'm back in the reading nook for one last time, um, probably with the last uh, parcel I'm going to be opening for this year. Um, certainly in the reading nook, uh, and this is it. Um, so let's get to it. It's a book of some kind, I'm sure, because I'm tough and verse shape. Um, and I know who sent this because this is from my friend Dave. Uh, so thank you, Dave, even before I know what it is. So um, let's, oh, let's see it there as well. So um, quick slice there and there. And what we've got um, is um, basically a set of interesting things. Uh, okay, uh, right. Um, basic knickknacks and stuff. So what we've got in here? Um, well, uh, okay. Um, a little postcard. Um, New York, and then. Um, a, the Raymond Chandler map of Los Angeles, a guide to the unusual, um, and the usual and, and unusual. So that, um, um, and you've got essentially uh, a list of sort of like places by location and, and, and by book. So uh, Stonewood Mansion and the Big Sleep. And uh, A.G. Geiger's Rare Books. Also, there's other books in there as well. Uh, and then you open it out and... And keep opening it out. Uh, there we go. Look that up. Yes, I have got the lower way up. That's, that's, that's an interesting little key out. Yes, thank you. Um, and then we have... Um, Cults, mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Um, this is just uh, so. And you open it up like that, and what you've got inside is um, it's it's uh, the United States of the United States of America, and it's an it's another map of um, basically cults. Uh, but, 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 but another map, but basically of, of cults, um, of, um, so yeah, and, and where they can be found. So the house of Yahweh is in, um, you see, uh, what's up, just a look, uh, um, down there in Texas, so for example. Um, so yeah, that's the, um, um, uh, basically it's a map. Okay. Um, uh, along with the postcard, help, I've joined the cults. Uh, okay, let's just so get that to, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, so this is definitely into um, uh, the um, cryptid world, a guide to the un unusual, and again, it's doing the same thing. Um, these are all from uh, Herb Lester Associates. Um, so this does the cryptic, the cryptic world. Um, so there's basically post cards of, say, uh, the jackalope, um, and then no, an eternal one, um, and this kind of does. Um, uh, the cryptids from a, oh, that's a bit tweet there. Um, this is less. Basically, you've got a, a post on the um, on the on the back with the information here, and then um, uh, basically more information on the back um, about those. Here. Um, so, and then lastly um, is um, 
Welcome to the Dark Side, Occult London, a guide to the highly unusual. Again, um, yeah, more unusual maps. Um, so you can see all human life is in London, but within the city exists a shadow world of druids, mystics, magicians and witches. Here is your introductory like hidden realm from ancient times to the present day. We chart centuries of occult activity, the headquarters of the Golden Dawn, as Alistair Crowley's temples, where William Blake saw angels and William Burroughs launched a psychic attack after eating an unsatisfactory cheesecake. For the aspiring cultists, there are shops to buy spells and books on magic and libraries and museums for further study. It's London, but not as you know it. Welcome to the dark side. Uh, a guide to magical tools, also included a guide to magical tools for the aspiring occultist, a checklist for those wishing to take their explanation to the subject beyond the physical realm. Um, so yeah, uh, this is really. Kind of, I mean, you can imagine this could be useful for um, any of these. This sort of thing might be useful for your, um, essentially, your occult role playing games. So for this one, for example, Rivers of London, forthcoming from Curzium, or you could go to um, Bookhounds of London from for Trailer Cthulhu from Pelgrim Press, for example, um, or Cthulhu by Gaslight, that sort of thing, um, or uh, um, uh, the Britannia box set, basically from uh, Cubicle Seven. So in um, so that means specifically for London, but obviously, obviously uh, you know, you for um, if you're doing one set in LA, use it perhaps using the um, Secrets of Los Angeles book for Call of Cthulhu. You, then you might want to um, have a look at the Raymond Chandler map of Los Angeles. Um, cryptic world, you know, basically, you know, if, um, for, if you're doing basically your monster hunting around the world, um, any number of role playing games, you could do that, and then again with cults and so on i mean these you could kind of um dig into these for example for delta green um if you wanted to or call cthulhu um or um you know um chill that sort of thing and uh, so what we've got in um uh here we have um 20 basically um uh, 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 20 magical tools for aspiring occultists um, from uh, Athame, uh, which is a ritual blade and black obsidian through to wands and tarot cards. Uh, the map itself. Um, is, let's have a look. I'm folding these with cold fingers. Cold fingers is a bit of a challenge. So uh, here's a map of uh, a cold London. Um, all blacks and blues, uh, really simple. And on the background, um, you have um, essentially the the, um, the guide itself. Basically, the the, the keys to the explanations to the locations on on the map itself, and um, and basically just a quick short map there you're yeah, struggling with this and then in the corner there you've got a quick guide a short guide to um notable individuals um such as uh alistair crowley william blake wb yates uh, uh madam um, blavatsky and so on now all of these are kind of like uh, notable figures in, in in the in the occult uh movements of the 20th century so you know worth digging into the, i mean basically this will just give like a a basic information, a background, and background, and introduction to them, and, and again, that's with all of these, um, all of these maps. You know, then they're not, not meant to be um, exhaustive uh, treatments of their subjects, um, but they are a good starting point, and you can use, and, and you know, it's, you can, you know, use them for inspiration, as I said, um, just digging into you know, for, um, as a starting point. Um, for when you're bringing them to the table for your the role playing game, the horror role playing game of your choice, whether you're going to, you know, you want a cult um, or or, um, or a cryptid or or, or, or something. Um, at, uh, um, and even then, basically, these are these are quite nice. And so basically, on the inside of this one, what you've got is that that's quite you know, just a nice little detail. It's not a, particularly just just as as a little. Um, uh, um, nice graphic design and um, yeah the other one they do is I know that they, I think they've done one for um, uh, Scarfolk which is the 1970s kind of like um, dystopian setting essentially town Scarfolk town, town council um, where the 1970s never ended and if you it, it's it's tongue-in-cheek um, 
but if you grew up in the 70s you kind of get the humor and the sort of like the, the dark darkness of it all so um all from herb lester associates this is welcome to the dark side occult london um cults mad bad and dangerous to know or even belong to um and um the cryptid world okay uh and lastly of course uh the raymond chandler um a map of Los Angeles. So these are all my, from my friend uh, Dave. Dave, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed your gifts. Um, anyway, in the meantime, this is my last unboxing, probably uh, until I start receiving more uh, uh, parcels in the new year. Um, if you've enjoyed this one or any of the others, please feel free to comment, click the like button, um, and also you know subscribe because um, uh, there will be more unboxings um, as I go on and as the weather allows. Um, I'm told the weather's going to be terrible today, but, I thought, but it's been clear enough for me to come out here um, and get cold fingers. But thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. Um, bye for now.